The first flash of fiction arrives without words. It consists of a fixed image, like a slide, or closer still, a freeze frame, showing characters in a simple situation. Every character comes into being with a name, which I may change, an age, a nationality, a profession, a particular voice and accent, a family background, a personal history, a destination, qualities, secrets, an attitude toward love, ambition, money, religion, and with a private center of gravity. After the, the first idea of a story and your first sort of vision of people in it, which I've already described to you, the next thing that comes, perhaps a couple of days later, is a flow of dialogue. You, they, 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 they speak. And I don't hear uh, the exact words. I don't know how to explain this. I'm trying to explain something that can't be explained, but I know what they're talking about and I know what they're saying. I know what they're saying even if it's in another language or whatever. I know what they're saying. My father died, then my grandmother. My mother was left, but we did not get on. I was probably disagreeable with anyone who felt entitled to give me instructions and advice. We seldom lived under the same roof, which was just as well. She had found me civil and amusing until I was 10, at which time I was said to have become pert and obstinate. I think people like Mavis and Alice Munro have demonstrated that you can pour an astonishing amount of fictional information, fictional richness into the short story. Earlier on, at the time, both of these people, Mavis and Alice, were uh, coming up, as it were, it was very hard to get novels published in Canada. And I had the honor of presenting Mavis for the degree. And I said to this assembly of young people and parents, I said, this woman is your parents' worst nightmare. She had a great job in Montreal, a woman. She was a columnist, steady job. She threw it all up to go to Paris to live in a garret and write. This is heresy, and I'm going to annoy people. I think if you're a writer, you're going to write. And what you have to do young is read a lot, read a lot. And if, if the young person says to me, read what, I, I realize it's a hopeless case. You often hear the phrase, a writer's writer, which, as you know, means that... Uh, other writers know how good the author in question is. And, and that certainly applies to Mavis. You know, you get people like Michael Antacci just saying, I, I, I feel so strongly about this, I, I want to write an introduction to her work, or Russell Banks. You know, and, 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 and. Other writers recognize just how good she is. I don't think I ever expected a very wide audience, but I expected an audience, yes. I wouldn't have gone on otherwise. <laughs> 